Hey there! So today I'm out in Chicago and I'm about to cross another big item off of my bucket list. As you can see behind me, it might give you a little hint. I'm finally gonna get to go to the original Billy Goat Tavern. Yes, I know. I was born and raised here and I never got here. I know, pretty bad. But uh, this is the original, the one that, uh, you know, was the inspiration for the Chipoga 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 sketch on Saturday Night Live. So, you wanna join me? Come along! So up on top there, you can see Michigan Avenue. You actually have to come underneath, come down the stairs to get to Billy Goat's Tavern when you're up on Michigan Avenue. It's down below on the same level, but I kind of span the camera over there. Over there is the Chicago River, and that's where you take the boats that take you out on the river tours. But this is the original Billy Goat. Chiba, Chiba, Chiba. I can't wait to go inside. All right, we're gonna take a little walk, shall we? Getting closer, I can see this sign. So if you are not familiar with the uh, sketch I'm referring to, in the early days of Saturday Night Live, John Belushi, Dan Aykroyd, back in the really good old days, there was a sketch in this diner. It had a simple counter where the chef would do the cooking. And uh, it was basically cheeseburgers. This was the main menu. And no Pepsi, Coke, no Pepsi, Coke. Cheeseburger, 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 no, no fries, chips, four chips, four chips, four chips, what's the drink, Pepsi, no coke, no orange, no grape, Pepsi, four Pepsi, <laughs> okay, ten minutes, all right, so, when we go inside, we'll see how much it looks like that sketch on Saturday Night Live. It's a little chilly out here today. The original Billy Goats. Original Chiba the Chiba the Chiba. Inside of the uh, window that we saw originally, and another room full of memorabilia. There's the menu, in case you ever wondered what the Billy Goat menu is like. <laughs> Dress up your blogger the way you like. There is tons of stuff on the walls in this place. Just incredible. Memorabilia galore. John Belushi. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my gosh, there's probably so many famous people on this wall. I don't want to take too long. There's another one. Lucian <laughs> Akrai. And of course, the famous SNL sketch. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Bill Murray. <laughs> so, so good. Let's see what's this. Just one more. 
there is a whole room full of this over here in this one little alcove. So the owner of the Billy Goat Tavern reportedly was at a Cubs game in 1945 with his Billy Goat. And the fellow ball game attendees uh, were not amused. And the owner was asked to leave with the Billy Goat. He was evicted from Wrigley Field. <laughs> that was in 1945. The Cubs had made it to the finals. And he was so upset, he said, these Cubs they ain't ever gonna win again. They proceeded to lose the World Series that year. 1945. Oh, there's Ditka over there. From the Chicago Bears. And um, the last time they had won a World Series previous to that <laughs> was 1908. So that was considered to be the Billy Goat curse. Thank you. And the Cubs did not break that curse for 71 years. They finally won a World Series in 2016 against the Los Angeles Dodgers. All because of the owner of the Billy Goat Tavern and his little Billy Goat. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move along to the next room. So many great things in here. Billy Goat merchandise. One of those is going to have to come home with me. Some defensive substitutions. Duke Ellis in center field. And that, of course, is the famous grill. All right, so here it is. Here is the famous chiboga from Billy Goat's Tavern. I put some pickles and onions on it. It looks pretty tasty. And just like the show, there's no fries, just chips, and no Pepsi, just Coke. So we're going to dig in and see how good this is. It looks really good. <laughs> it was really good. Really, really, really good. Everything you've heard about it and more. Mm, so good. <laughs> these ratings and reviews. I'm telling you, I live in Texas where there's some pretty good beef, but that was one of the best burgers I have ever had. <laughs> big pickle. This is the famous original Billy Goat Tavern, established in 1934. Cheeseburger, 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 cheesebur